Hello, people of the internet. I am Soul Rack Dragon, and welcome back to the Dark Souls 3, the darkest of souls. Um, last we left off, we explored the bit of Arch Dragon Peak that was the maze area, got a few items, and then came here, had to deal with some enemies. Right now, we are standing before this statue because this says gesture required ahead, and then it's an image of somebody doing the path of the dragon's gesture. So, let's imitate them and see if we get anything. We're staring at an altar. Oh, it gives us the Calamity Ring here. Okay, Calamity Ring. Uh, let's see what that does. There it is. Receive double damage. Well, ring made of the orange eye of a Calamitous Dragon received double damage. This ring has no useful powers and is merely a symbol of dragon worship. A thing quietly passed down among its most favored adherents, some of whom have become convinced the task has bestowed upon them a sacred duty. Hmm. Isn't that the same ring as, um... What's his face? That giant black dragon from the Artorias DLC in the original Dark Souls? I want to say it is. It might be. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Uh... Before we progress any further, let's ember up. Hopefully we don't get invaded. Um... Dragon Slayer Spears back there. Nothing else, though. Let's examine it. Just so we can. Let's see what we did. Uh, cross we are associated with Ornestein the Dragon Slayer, a weapon of the gods imbued with the strength of lightning. Two-handed thrusts utilize the support of the cross and require great might to pierce deep into the flesh of dragons and send mere men flying. Why is Ornestein's spear here? I mean, I know lore-wise that the Ornestein you fight in An Orlando in the original game is apparently an illusion made by, um, Gwendolyn, and Smog is the only one truly there. Then you encounter the old Dragon Slayer in Dark Souls 2, and that's a little iffy. He does use dark powers rather than lightning like Ornestein, so maybe it's just an imitator or something? Plus, you do encounter dragon rider enemies, so yeah. Oh, before we go any further, let's equip the Way of the Blue Covenant, just in case we do get invaded, a Dark Moon can come and assist. So, yeah. Who knows? Um, we got two shields. Two shield of the two guys' shield variant. Be wary of left, and then we got one normal dude. Okay. How far will they travel? Because I want to attract their aggro one at a time. Multiple? Yeah, that's going to be a little painful. <clears throat> so, is there anything out here? Looks like there's a little area down there, maybe, or just that area. But we got the shield bro first. So let's attract them one at a time to knock them down on a duck. His aggro, that's good. We just need to back off enough so that we don't track the other ones. Because dying would not be super good. Because it would make us have to face off against possibly Havel, possibly whatever that would do is another time. And yeah, those guys can be a little bit painful. Okay, other shield bearer is turning around. So now it's me and you, you and I, the both of us together. And you're done. So, okay. <clears throat> That's the shield one down. Get this one's aggro next. We'll come. He'll be coming around the ball when he comes. Oh, shit. That was me, yes. done. Again, I don't like it, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, keep our eyes open for any further ambushes, because you never really know. I was about to say, as long as he doesn't drop there, dang it, why does stagger take so long to recover from, man? Now I was gonna say, are we? 
about to make him fall backwards off the platform, if so, that would be funny, but... Roll! Why do you... Oh, yeah, roll after. After he's already hit you. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. Um... Ambush ahead. Try plunging attack. So we got one down there. Unknown enemies waiting for us in there. Okay, I see them. Not really an ambush when you can see them, but still um, something. Okay. What else? Though? There's got to be more than just these two. No? Okay. Um. So spear, draw aggro, and most of its health. Damage. Thank you for that kindly message. I've already dealt with the ambush, though. Oh. And slow and steady wins this race here. Slow and steady. Okay. Oh, we got an axe, dude. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Um, maybe we should try the plunging attack here. Yeah, that was bad. Large shard. Anything further or no? No illusory wall ahead. No treasure ahead. Okay. Sounds, um, fine and dandy. Fine and dandy indeed. We do have a big boy there. We also have a ladder here. Um, let's make him wait and take this ladder up and see what we can find. Got an item here. Not seeing any enemy as either. We attracted the big boy's attention. Thunderstone plate right nice. Um nope. Okay, this looks like it'll be taking us past him. Oh, can we actually... Oh, oh, this could be good. Okay, he does not have the um, chain axe, so we can safely do this to him. Potentially. Depending on how much his aggro can truly draw, and how long he'll choose to stay down there. So we need to lose the aggro here. there we go. Glass. One more great soul arrow should technically do it. I was correct. He's down. He drops an item for us. We have message here. Illusory ball ahead. You lie. Oh, oh, funny, funny, funny. This guy was comedian apparently. Um, nothing else here though. So carefully proceed forwards. Our eyes open for any ambushes. So that's the last thing we want to happen. We should switch over to the normal Mistus. I hear a crystal. Where? There. As long as we don't get fucking ambushed here, we'll be fine. There we go. Jumping. Twinkling tight night. I heard something. I don't think jumping is the way to get up there. Okay. Um. Time for praise the sun. Yes, this is actually that's actually a good position to praise the sun there. Uh, we got a chest here. No, you bastard ahead. Oh god, that's a drop. Um. Not a mimic. Oh no. 
You bastard, I had. Okay, I get it. I get it now, I get it, I get it. Alright. Um. Time for the sun. Be wary of dragon. I hear something. That tower looks ominous. Oh, it's a rock lizard. Two rock lizards. Okay, um. Let's draw your aggro here so that we can deal with you easy. Um, screw you, rock lizard, and your fire breath that can apparently pierce the heavens. I guess. Two Estes, damn it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Lag spikes. Don't like them. No! No! I couldn't roll. I moved out of the way and he kept following me. Damn it. I'll be back. I want to be Ember for this area because these things deal shit tons amount of damage. And if I'm not Ember, I will die. So, yeah. Don't ask me why I returned to Firelink. This is not where I intended to go. I intended to instead go to Orlando because Patches... Excuse me. Does sell some, um... Embers at 4,000 pounds. So, I figure, might as well kill, um... The... What do you call them? Um, Silver Knights of Orlando. They have 2,500 souls apiece. So, yeah, that's a good... That's a good idea. Very good idea. So, track the aggro here. I know, I know, I know. You guys probably don't want to see me doing this, but my fingers are already geared up for it, so... Not much I can do. I should have had a backstab in there. I'm better than this, I swear. So there goes 20-some thousand souls. But we should get it back, because, yeah... Yeah, we'll get the 20,000 some souls back. At the very least. But, damn if this is not tough. This next area. Those rock lizards, I truly did not expect it to roll me off a freaking cliff. That was just completely and utterly unexpected lads and losses. Good. These suckers go down nice and easy now. Plus 10 Crystal Uchi is definitely doing some good work for us. Most definitely. So then, back to Fire Link. Ugh. There's also that one area. Well, um, past the cons I mean, we got two areas with which to proceed forwards, not including Arch Dragon's Peak. The first area is the one just past the Consumed King's Garden, where we took out an illusory wall and it turned out to be a completely pitch black area probably has something heavily to do with the abyss in that case so we'll be heading there next oh it's five thousand that was four thanks but um probably has something to do with the abyss there and then of course there is the original area going forwards in the authoric castle which who knows where it'll lead i mean I honestly don't know what to expect right now from the game, because this area, I guess one could say, it seems pretty disconnected from the rest, so I'm wondering if we're not actually going to be fighting a Lord of Cinder here. The fact that we found Orstein's spear, though, maybe we're going to be fighting one of the gods of Pan Orlando, or Orstein himself has gone completely nuts. Who knows? Ow. Oh, you gotta win. That's why you can't 
Looks like we are not dealing with Havel here. That is relief. Much relief. Um, and given this guy's quicker moveset, I think the Great Soul Arrow is probably the better one to use against him than the Soul Spear. Moves him back further. Gives us more ample time to fall back ourselves. Less magic overall. And get the kill. Much easier this time. Much easier. Gave us 4,000 souls? I think that was. Not a bad count. Not a bad count. This area, though, is slightly more annoying. Let's draw this one's aggro first. Get him out of the way. There we go. Follow me and everything's alright. I'll be the one to kill you tonight. And if you want to live, I can guarantee you will not live past me. Alright, that's one down. And these guys are definitely like Cobra men from Sense Fortress, only rather than having the big... I don't even know what they're called on Cobras, but like those big where they can just sort of spread their mouths and they flare themselves or whatever. I don't know what they're called. They're wrapped up. They can shoot fire instead. And have long-ass necks. So maybe they're dragon hybrids of them. That's entirely possible. Dragon hy dragon Cobra Man hybrids. It's actually a very scary thought. Um, okay, the other one has turned around. Good. Um, getting caught there was not part of the plan. Killing him was not. Large shark. Alright. Now listen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I was wondering if after all this time you'd like to die. Ugh. Oh god. Um. There we go. I'm trying to avoid using my Estus as much as possible. Though I think in this situation it definitely calls for it. Um. Positioning. And apparently two and a slice should be enough to get these guys down. Which is good to see. Should save me a lot of time in the long run. Lag spikes will not though. Lag spikes are more likely to kill me than not. That's close. This is... Really close. Okay. Another one down. Plunging attack can kill this one easily enough. So... Plunge kills. Good, good, good. Climb the ladder so that we don't have to... So that we can deal with this one cheaply. In fact, I think Soul Spear is great for the stagger effect, but we we'll want to conserve magic, so probably want to go with Great Soul Arrow still, to be honest. Um, just need him to come back out. I don't think he can hit us here, thankfully. And we can draw his aggro, so he'll be standing right about there now. So that's good. The bad part is that um, gets too close, we lose sight completely. Okay, yeah. come on. There we go. Okay, he is being very freaking annoying here. Like, stupidly annoying. Glad I'm not wasting soul spears on him. There we 
go. Just gotta better position ourselves. Oh, mama. Mia. One more. Okay. That could have been very bad. Very, very bad. Okay. Okay. Um, so, rock lizards are the next two enemies we get to face. Should be fine. I could take some rock lizards. Rock lizards are easy enough when you know how to deal with them. Oh shit. 2v1 though might be a slightly different story. Go. One down. Fire-breathing rock lizards is not fun, so please kill them, everyone. <sighs> Alright, two rock lizards down. Head over here. It did, that message here did say, be wary of dragon ahead, didn't it? Be wary of dragon, so I'm wondering if it's up there or if it was meant, meant the rock lizards or something. Or that. Roll. Are you the wyvern we faced originally then? Because the other one was way too tough. Oh. Um. Awkward. I don't think we can hit you with magic up there, wyvern. And I think that trying to face you mano a mano will get me killed. Uh. How do we fight this guy? He is like way up there. Um, maybe if we move? He does move. 82 damage per shot. That is like the Viper he originally faced. Ow! That hurt. Um, I think this is a good time to Ember up. Not hit him from in here. However, we do have a way to deal with him, potentially. Ah! Fire's hot. Uh, we need him to go back up. If we can get him to go back up, then we can get him to fly back down, and if he flies back down, He's easier to deal with. But he doesn't seem to want to go back. Um. Well. Now is a good time to practice our aimless cast a little bit more. Oh. There we go. Hey! You are the vibrant from before. Remember me? I shot you back, I shot you in the head continuously back in, um, the high wall of Lothric while you were breathing fire on a bunch of scrubs. Good times, man, good times. And now we get to relive this moment. Are you gonna run away again like a coward? As you did that last time, and, you know, it was kind of cowardly of you to do. So, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do so this time. It just make both of our lives so much easier. I mean, I get whatever souls you have, and then you get a nice, long rest. Yeah. Gotta love aimless casting here, people. Just thread the needle here. Just thread it so nicely. Oh man, just look at me. Just threading the needle through the window, hitting the wyvern in the head. Say magnifique. I kind of want to try a soul spear here as well. Let me thread the needle as well. It will, and it gets me the kill. Only a little bit more than double damage. 
Okay, you're definitely dead this time. Gave me 30-some thousand souls, six Titanite chunks, three scales, and three twinklings. That's a good amount of stuff. Very good amount of stuff. Okay, um... Slow and steady. Because there might be another one. Probably not, but you never know. There's something. Got rock lizards. Alright. We got magic enough. There we go. Rock lizards are tough little buggers, I suppose. Oh. And they come in multiples of two or more. Or herds. Although, what is a group of lizards called, actually? Oh, and they drop Titanite skills, apparently. Okay, so there's four of them. What do you call a group of lizards, anyways? Not a herd, I don't think. I mean, maybe they got a cool name, like, uh... I know a flock of crows is called a murder. So, what's... What is a bunch of rock lizards called? These are the questions I ask every day, people. These are the questions. Alright, um... Nothing yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Cautiously cautious. What did this guy die from? Rock lizards, more likely than not. Okay. Um... Message here. says ranged battle. Oh, you bastard. Um, so you're gonna summon another thing. Uh, where are the stairs? Looks like they're that way. Okay. We're gonna have to run. And deal with him before... Oh shit, he summons him right there. That's way closer than I want it to be. Go quickly, go quickly. Oh, they're different. What the fuck was that? Seriously, what the fuck was that? I don't even know. What happened there? It was too fast. Okay. I'm unembered again, so I get to get another 5,000 souls to buy another freaking ember from Patches. Because that was blindingly fast. I don't even know what happened. Whatever it was, it was unarmored, but it attacked me like lightning, man. I didn't even know how to react. I didn't have time to react, actually. Um, yeah. I guess I'll be back when I'm embered up, and, or when I've got an ember, rather, and I can get to that area again without dying, so... This will be mainly to save you guys and myself a little bit of time here. So yeah, I'll be back when we make it back to that area. I'll see you guys then. Damn, that was fast. Alright everybody, I am back. You might notice that I've got only a few souls. That's because I found out you can run past most of the enemies. Except for the rock lizards. And I did die once on this attempt. Mainly because I completely and totally underestimated this guy, and came in with, um, two-handing my Gucci. Um, did we kill him before he summoned anybody? I think we might have. Well, that's a massive relief off my shoulders. Um, oh, there's that one area, and the sun shines through once more. 
the flames guide thee. A second. Oh, patch of squat. So, probably not anything important. Okay. Now that we're going into new territory, let's amber up. Okay, so we have over there and up here is another area from the looks. We have in here first, though. Um, to travel the path of the dragon, do not ring the great bell. Oh wow, that's an area and a half. So, it doesn't want us to ring the bell if we want to travel the path of the dragon. The great dragon. Nothing will remain once the bell has been told. Ha, huh, it's a praise the sun. So, if we want to follow the path of the great dragon, we don't want to ring the bell yet. Yeah, being the keyword. Oh, I heard a summon sign. Or at least I think I did. Okay, that area looks like it's gonna be fun. Um, and we found a bonfire! That is, um, a great, great deal of relief here. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got a checkpoint. Checkpoints are so good. Um... This area is fairly wide open, at least, and I heard a summon sign. I know I heard a summon sign that time. Hello. Um, I'd rather fight you before summoning whoever's here, because there they are. Um, who is this? Hawkwood the Deserter. Why is Hawkwood up here? I mean, he did technically, um, help us with the one thing, one area, the one Osiris dude, so I don't know, um, hmm, I don't know, summon him last, I guess, after we've explored this area a bit, looks like a gate down there, we got an item right here, Fire spitter, huh? I'm not so fire spitter. Mate, hopefully. Please. And get the back stab. Love the back stab. Okay, so that gated area down there. Um. Hawkwood is over here to be summoned. Large soul of a crestfallen knight is very nice. Excuse me. Okay. Um. Greetings. Oh. Do we piss off two? I think we might have pissed off two. Oh, joy. Uh, maybe we should just summon Hawkwood, you know? He might be helpful here. Hawkwood. You're gonna be helping me out here, man. Um. You can tank somewhat well, at the very least. We know that much. Oh boy. Axe boy is here. Hawkwood. Um, Hawkwood, did you get stronger, man? You're doing more damage. Okay. Big guy's down. Thank you, Hawkwood. Thank you kindly. Um, I don't know what he was attacking there, but okay. Oh god, we got multiples. We have multiple multiples. Oh god, we got a big boy. We have a big boy. Hawkwood, um, raw aggro. Hawkwood, draw aggro and don't die. Hawkwood, die. Um, good lord almighty. There is a ton of these fuckers. I mean a ton. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 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 I am so screwed. 
yeah, there was no question there. I was so fucking screwed. Um. Yeah. That was a pain in the ass. And we need to become hum we need to become Embered again because if Hawkwood is there, he probably has some significance. Maybe a boss fight. But one thing is certain, he cannot help us back out enemies. So we're returning to Firelink. That shut read that great bell no, on fire, by the way, it said. So we're gonna return to Firelink. We are going to um, purchase some embers from patches. Maybe level up intelligence once. If we can manage it. Wait, not this way. Wrong one. <coughs> Maybe level up intelligence once. Maybe twice. Who knows? And we'll see if we can't upgrade Grass Crest Shield here. Okay, purchase. Let's just buy two embers. Patches is officially out of embers, which means if we want any more, we're going to have to farm them ourselves, as nobody else has them. Trust me, I've checked. Next, we talk to Firekeeper here. Very well level up. Intelligence, once. A little extra damage is always nice. This puts us at 37. We are a mere 23 levels off from having the recommended level of intelligence for any mage builds. Alright. Um, reinforce. We can actually do the dancer's swords, but I don't really see that right now. Uh, reinforce the grass crest shield. Yes. It now requires a slab to upgrade at the final pit. We can also upgrade our heretic staff. Having a little bit stronger magic would probably be a good thing. And we've exhausted all the souls we can. So let's um, head back there and not get our ass handed to us this time. So we're going to want to attract them one by one by one. <laughs> so that's going to be a bit of a challenge, I imagine. Um, we're not going to ember up yet either it does make it a little bit more risky for us but oh wow you got dodges You're doing a nice 300 now definitely tell the difference between four level up intelligence and after 50 for each swing as well as good all right so enemy attract if it's to be a bad, a bad, powerful in how many enemies we pull at once. Nice, even 250 per hit now is also quite cool. Makes it easier to tell how much health an enemy has. Okay. This is tricky part. Walk forward enough to trigger this guy's aggro, but not enough to trigger the big dudes that we know is back there. And I think we did it. Good. Good, good, good. Slow and steady here, people. Slow and freaking steady. Oh no, don't tell me. You're kidding. You're not kidding. Shit. Need to kill this guy before big fucker comes over here close enough gotta do it without pulling any more enemies. Okay, that's good. Close. Good. And we pull him big time. Oh god, that was super lucky that we did not pull. enemies. I guess. The game likes to punish me like this. Um. Gotta play this safe. Now, have we pulled them to us, or have we just activated their patrols? 
It looks like we might have just activated them patrolling this area. We're getting into position. Which means we have a good chance of being able to pull them one at a time. So three little guys, two big fucks. Well. Um. This will definitely be interesting. Definitely be interesting. <laughs> question is, how many are going to be coming over here? What is their aggro range? Who's going to come at? None of them, it seems. Potentially. But we need at least one. We need to take these guys on one by one. So that we can actually make progress here. There we go. We got one. No magic is good against them. I was gonna say I thought we had found a nice little sweet spot from which to kill it with magic, but turns out that was not the case. Not completely. Hit it once, and it's dead. Good. One big fuck down, two to go. Or one to go. Yeah. So we got one big dude three littles. Take the littles maybe more than one at a time. It's not really recommended, but we can technically do it. Okay. Big guys just stand in there. No, not what I wanted to do. Those little guys come after me, though, is the question. Are they stuck? They appear to be stuck on big guys. So what we want to do is go to the Dark Moon Longbow. Pull it back. There we go. Score critical. Move the Dark Moon Longbow. Little guys are blocking his pathfinding, but... Now he's coming at us. And I think the little guys might be as well. Possibly. Wait. Actually, that's not a possible. That is a definite. They are coming at us. So we need to lure him over. What the fuck? What the fuck? was that he should not have hit us how did he hit us we were behind freaking wall here I'm calling massive massive freaking giant sized amounts of PS on that he should not have hit us there should not I don't even know what to say, I'm speechless, quite honestly. Honest to God, I am speechless here. I have no freaking clue how he managed to smoke us through a freaking wall. Shield Bearer is not gonna come close enough fast enough, so we're gonna have to deal with him and Big Fuck, number two. No, number one, my mistake. Or is it number two? Maybe big fuck number two. Okay, we got big fuck. Yes, I know that's probably not their proper enemy names, but I don't care. They're big fucks to me. <coughs> that dodge of his was superb. I have to give credit where credit is due. It was most definitely due there. Go down. 
heal up because so close to a bonfire, I'm not afraid of healing up too much. Too much of a keyword. Okay. Um. Bold, bold strategy here. Let's see if it'll work. Take care of the little fucks. So that big fucks are the only concern. That was a parry. Stance. I'd have liked it if that had been clarified before I hit him. But okay. Heal. Because I got parried like a... I don't even want to say it. But I got parried really easy. Okay. Um. Lightning gem. So you guys drop lightning items too. Ironic since I expect you to be weak to lightning. Shield dude is still there. And then we got the two big guys still alive as well. One of which is, I'm pretty sure, on my ass. Fantastic. I mean, with the swarm dealt with, it will probably be easier to deal with the big guys if we summon Hawkwood. But I want to be safe. Probably only summon him when it's just one big guy in me. Well, 2v1, pretty much. Because two big guys is a little too much to handle, I'd imagine. And if that means me and Hawkwood versus Chain Axe one, then so be it. We got like, I'm gonna say maybe 11 minutes left in the video. Not a lot of time, admittedly, but work with what we got. Gotta back away so I can keep an eye on the big guy. Trying to tempt you into attacking me here. Do I have to break your freaking guard here? There we go. Alright. So now it's just one big guy. <clears throat> no two big guys, but no little guys. Definitely easier. I hear rock lizards though, so that is mild worrying. Run, run, run far away. Get our magic ready. Ow! That was a BS spin attack. You know it, I know it, my viewers know it. That was a BS spin attack, lizard man. BS. I need to check how much time I've got left here, because I honestly do not know. I'll be back. Okay, turns out I'm actually over on time for this video. It's a good thing I didn't go for that electric extra 11 minutes. So, next time on Dark Souls 3, we will finish exploring up Arch Dragon's Peak here, because I'm guessing bringing that bell will trigger a boss fight, and Hawkwood will help with it, but we gotta explore over there first, and down there, I suppose. But yeah, that'll be what happens next time. For now, though... I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out some more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, excuse me, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, I will see you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody. And wave.